Divided by faith, the Texas Ten Commandments school bill sparks controversy. In Texas, lawmakers are pushing two controversial bills that could increase the presence of religion in public schools. The first bill, introduced by Republican State Senator Phil King, requires the mandatory display of the Ten Commandments in classrooms, aligning with previous legislation on displaying In God We Trust posters. The second bill, proposed by Republican State Senator Mays Middleton, establishes prayer time across schools and other learning establishments, allowing students to read the Bible or other religious texts. Participation in these events would voluntarily would be voluntary and require parental consent. Critics argue that these proposals undermine the separation of church and state, while supporters claim they are protecting the right to express sincerely held religious beliefs. Concerns are growing over the potential impact on non-Christian students, as some view these proposals as part of a broader Christian nationalist project. So what is this project? What are they trying to do? So there was already a bill that was put forward in Texas that actually passed, which said that schools have to display donated in God We Trust posters. If someone donates a sign with that on it, the school has to show it. That's now a law. And so that was already passed. And then this is kind of like the second element of this. This is they are explicitly trying to put Christianity in schools. And... So now it's saying that it's mandatory that you display the Ten Commandments in classrooms. It's mandatory that you display the Ten Commandments in classrooms. And then there's another bill that's being pushed where they are supposed to establish a prayer time across schools. And at this prayer time, students are allowed to read the Bible or any other religious text. And it would be voluntary and require parental consent, but there would be a lot of time in the school day for prayer time. Is there anybody fighting back? Where is the freedom oh, yeah. from religion? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. So they're going to pay a lot of taxpayer money and legal fees to fight these for the sake of votes and stuff like that. Amazing. Yeah, exactly. Um, D is saying, okay. yeah, Republicans are wasting time and money with all this nonsense. And it's a project blitz. Pack thousands of bills and some will stick. Mm. Or even if none of them sticks, you get votes for pushing for stuff like this, don't you? You can, certainly. Yeah. Certainly, or promising that you will put forward this kind of legislation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what are the chances of these getting passed? I don't know, but if they were to be, well, they, here's the thing. They already passed one um, oh, within the state legislature. They already passed one of the necessary chambers. So I believe it needs to pass a second chamber and then probably be signed into law. But it already passed one major hurdle, which is a problem because if it does get passed, again, the cost to fight this is a lot, it's BS. And then when it is fought, let's say it goes up to the Supreme Court and we know who we have sitting on the bench right now and they're much more sympathetic to this nonsense because they already said that a coach praying on a school football field and encouraging other students to join him in prayer is not unconstitutional, even if it's on school property during school hours and during school events. Hmm. So they are sympathetic to this and that's a huge problem. They've already they already cut down one major barrier with that legal case that happened with that coach. Yeah. Destroying precedent. Absolutely destroying precedent. So Kenny's saying, isn't that violating the constitution? Maybe I have an incorrect understanding. No, this does violate the constitution, doesn't it? Yes. And yeah. past precedent. A lot of past precedent. Yeah. And I don't know why this comment. Norwegian uh, Toby is saying the Ten Commandments are so random as uh, societal rules. You might understand it. Yeah. No, they are they're so arbitrary. They, they're not helpful at all. I don't even understand how Christians can take it seriously. Um, there was one comment that was so funny about someone fighting back against this. And they said that... I have a right to teach my children on my own terms about coveting one's wife and adultery. 
I don't need them seeing that first thing in kindergarten, which was so funny to me because that's the exact rhetoric that Republicans use when it comes to sex education and LGBT Ooh. stuff. It was like, I have a right as a parent to dictate when I introduce this information to my child. And if in kindergarten, there's a giant thing on the wall saying, you should not covet your neighbor's wife and don't commit adultery, I should be able to decide when I discuss these topics with them. Maybe they shouldn't be seeing this first, th first thing in kindergarten. Mm, let's see. So the, you're using your own vocabulary, their own vocabulary back on them. I get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.